Picture this. You're 18 years old and you're getting ready to venture off into the next stage of academia. In order to prepare, you write down the necessary items to survive in college. Books, sheets, ramen noodles, and a fake ID. A single piece of plastic that grants you into a life of unfiltered fun. This one fake ID gets you into the coolest bars, access to the endless amounts of booze, and the status of just another college kid. I really think kids get fake IDs because it's so hard to get alcohol. If you don't have that cooler older sibling or anything, then like coming across alcohol is harder than coming across pot. I started drinking uh, about my, I think it was my junior or senior year in high school. I started drinking when I was 14. Um, my buddy's brother always had people over in high school and they were always drinking and we just kind of got exposed to it. And we stole some beer from my friend's dad. <laughs> Sometimes even parents that don't care either and are, and are willing to buy booze for their children. And there's always some local losers that are willing to buy us a 30 pack. On the weekends when all your friends want to drink, it's like you call the one kid with a fake ID and they just hook you up. My first use of fake ID was my freshman year in college. My uh, freshman year, I did uh, get a hold of a uh, fake ID. For freshman year of college, fake IDs kind of um, you know, hit the scene with, with a lot of kids. When you get into college, you need a fake ID to get in the bar, since most of them are 19 years of age and older. 21 to indulge, 19 to be there. Starting in college, I started working at the bar. Um, I started off as a door guy. Pretty much you have to check IDs for everyone to get in. Yeah, there was a ton of fake IDs going through the door. Um, in the first couple days, I was pulling IDs, but then it kind of just started being way more laid back, and it was just like, Everyone's underage, so why would you not just let them in? We were always struggling to get someone to buy alcohol for us, and uh, my brother actually gave it to me, and so I actually became 21 before I turned 18. My first fake ID was when I was a sophomore, and it was a guy who was 28 years old. He was five foot two, 200 pounds. We first got our fake IDs when we were about 16, 17. I had two total since my freshman year. I was hanging out with my older brother and I realized that me and his friend looked similar and he was 21, so I just asked if I could have his ID and he gave it to me. People that just remotely look like them, even a little bit, people that don't look like them, those are the two options that I've used. And then I finally started thinking that if I can get cigarettes and I can get booze if I get the right type of ID. So I just went ahead and got like a real fake ID where I just like ordered it, my picture, my information. I know people that have ordered their fake IDs off the internet and have paid like a hundred bucks or something. Pretty much take a picture, send it to a person that you don't even know and then boom, two weeks later you got yourself a fake ID. Sells IDs as props for like plays and one of my friends like got a, um, an Ohio ID as a prop and like one of the conditions on the site is that you have to like sign this little thing like to say like I won't use this like illegally. I've never got an actual fake ID made with my real picture but I assume someone like downtown in the city or someone who has like equipment to make it. I don't know. This ain't me. This one ain't me. This one isn't me. This one is me, but barely gets used. You either you kind of know someone that knows someone else and knows someone else that can make a make a legitimate fake ID. You know, you send them your picture, you send them some information of yours, and you know, like 150 to 200 bucks. Mainly work in Photoshop, InDesign, and Illustrator, uh, manipulating images and stuff like that. If I if I really wanted to, I could probably pull off something that would that could pass. Um, you know, now that they've got all these holographic uh, images and stuff like that, it's still, you can still print those off on uh, stickers and just paste it right over uh, a plastic card that you've screen printed an image on. Really easy to duplicate. Uh, all it take is pretty much a scanner um, and some basic Photoshop skills and a little bit of screen printing, you probably get a pretty passable ID. If you have an older sibling that looks like you, that's usually the easiest way. I mean, they have to also be willing to give it up. Stealing or taking your older brothers or sisters. So I was using that to go down to local liquor, st liquor stores and uh, buy alcohol from there by ourselves without the hassle of having to call him up and like having him go get us stuff. He's actually the middle brother, so I had an older brother that let 
him use his ID, and then when I came to college, I got to use his ID as well, my middle brothers, I mean. So, yeah, he was, he was pretty open to it, and anytime, I actually got taken away before, and he still, you know, resupplied me with another one, so it wasn't a big deal to him at all. I have a younger brother, and he's currently using one of my old fake IDs right now. Do you think that's a popular trend among siblings? Yeah. My first fake ID was a hand-me-down from my older brother. I'm my sister that knows people from her school can get their hands on IDs for me. After working at I needed another way of income, so I decided that all the IDs I was taking, I could sell them back to people for cheap, and just the cheaper I sell them, the more I could. So I pretty much just, if someone needs one, I could get them one. I pretty much go around and ask people if they know anyone that looks like the ID, if they know anyone that needs an ID, and usually I sell them for about $40 to $60. And I got in three places before we went to the last bar. bar. You know, no problem, they let me in. Second bar, no problem either. You know, we, we decided to go to the third bar. And uh, my brother and I actually, the guy who, was, who I was using his ID for, we were on a bar crawl all night. And uh, I went up to the line to go use my ID, and we we're so nervous to go in there. There were cops everywhere. And there's two guys bouncing out there, and um, I, I gave the guy my ID. Said brown eyes, and I have blue eyes. First of all, you know, it, it wasn't my picture, and second of all, it was a fake ID to begin with. So that's just two strikes against me right there. And the guy looks down at it. He saw my wallet was open. He saw my student ID hanging out. So he's like, you know, let me see that ID. And I was like, huh? Like, kind of taken back because it's never failed me before. Luckily, I asked my roommate for another ID. He, I gave him my school ID, or his school ID, and he still didn't believe me. He said, you know, hey, you know, it was a Massachusetts ID. He said, you know, the blue kind of looks, um, you know, not the right shade. And this is like already six months into using the thing. Obviously, it worked everywhere else. Whatever, he hands it over to his friend, and he's, his friends, you know, looking at it too. But this guy shined a flashlight in my eyes and he was just like, let me see that ID. And I'm like, I'm like, all right. And I pretend to like go grab the ID for him to show him. Like as I was doing that, I tried to make a big swiped it from him <laughs> real quick. I didn't want him to take it. And I just said, you know, hey, I'll take my business elsewhere. Uh, I just totally missed because I was already drunk. And so there was just an awkward pause between me without anything in my hand and the bouncer just looking at me and he goes, it was a nice try, man. Just get out of here. I'm sorry, babe. This just isn't you. And I just looked at him. I was like, all right. And he took my ID. Then my brother actually was behind, in line behind me or whatever. And he went up to the bouncer. He's like, so uh, any chance I can get that ID back? And he's like, nope, not in the world. When I was working at the bar, I definitely found it funny that I was younger than the people that were supposed to be drinking at the bar because it definitely gave me access to let my friends in underage, too. A lot of like 19-year-old bartenders that are bringing me alcohol. And uh, it just kind of seems like just weird for me because I feel like we're entitled to drink the alcohol and they're serving it to us now. I feel like they could just easily drink it themselves, you know. But if I were to get it taken at the bar, I mean, especially in this area, it's easy because either I know a person at the bar, I either know the bartender or the bouncer that can get it back for me from the bar that I got it taken away. Or I could, I know a friend that works at the bar or a friend that knows a friend that works at the bar that can get it back for me. So. The ease of getting it back or getting a new one is very easy. One day I lost my wallet in school and my fake ID was in it. And I was thinking, you know, there's no big deal. You know, I have money in it so the person will just take the money out and like toss my wallet. Well, just my luck that the person took my money and then turned in the wallet. So when they were looking through my IDs to see whose wallet it belonged to, they found my fake ID. So I came to school one day and then got called down to the office and they had found my fake ID and they arrested me right there at school and took me in. So I ended up having to spend the night in um, a holding cell because it was considered a felony and um, I had to stay and see a judge the next day. Well, the judge let me go and told me to come back that I would have another court date. And I was thinking the most I'm gonna get is some community service, you know, like, I haven't gotten in any serious trouble in the past, so I didn't think it was going to be that big of a deal. But little did I know, the next time I came to court, the judge just was not having it. And as soon as I came up, she just started, like, just going at me, like, why did you have it? Like, and I told her, like, I just have it so I can go to, like, the bars and stuff. And she wasn't believing it. She's like, you're buying alcohol for minors. Like, you're in high school and everything. 
little did I know that my principal, my sis, my dean, and my um, school cop, <clears throat> excuse me, all came and testified against me. So I ended up looking like a really bad kid, and she hit me as like an example type thing and gave me the harshest like penalty I can get without it being a felony. So I ended up having to like serve five days in the county jail, and then I had to do um, a year probation. I had to do um, community service. I had to pay over $1,500 in fines. I had to pay like for, like my attorney fees. Um, it was just a big deal. All for a single piece of plastic? For a fake ID. And the reason that they said I got in so much trouble was that it was an actual fake ID. They said I would have gotten a lot less trouble if I would have just found someone who looked like me and had their ID on me. I think they used to be a little bit more successful, but I think they've kind of been cracking down on it lately. A lot of states um, have recreated a lot of their IDs to, to make it harder to reproduce. When I was working door at my bar at school, the police actually never really told us anything to do about fake IDs. Um, our manager pretty much just told them, put, us, put them all in the lockbox, and that's pretty much where they stayed. We don't really know what happened to them. I went in there and there was a new cashier there and uh, the lady, the owner of the lady was training him or whatever and she actually was like showing him the process like if oh this isn't a common ID, I actually, I had an Iowa ID so she goes oh this isn't a common ID since we're here in Illinois she goes oh look it up in this book and uh, she matched like all the holograms and everything like that and she's like yeah this isn't you and kind of just lock the liquor store door on me. Even when I've used my own ID before, I've been marked over, whether it was a mistake or not, I don't know, but my girlfriends that it's happened to them too. All right, right now I'm gonna go in this liquor store and show that sometimes you don't even need an ID to buy booze. All you need is just a fake birthday in mind. February 25th, 88. And that's how easy it's done.